Hey guys, so today I'll be trying to demonstrate how to braid. Once you separate the section into three parts, all you do is place the outer part between the other two interchangeably. So there's two ways to do it. The first method is with your hands under the hair so that the outer section is going under and between the other two. The second method is the opposite with your hands above the hair so that the outer section is now going over and between the other two sections. This method is a lot easier when you're braiding your own hair because it's physically easier to have your hands above your hair rather than under. <laughs> I hope that makes sense. Hopefully by now we can graduate to cornrows. Again, there's two ways to do them. The first method involves holding the entire cornrow as one and then braiding over and adding hair to one section at a time. It's not easy to explain the process in words, but hopefully as you watch me do it, you'll get the drift. As you can see here, I'm only adding hair to the section that's in contact with the rest of the hair towards the back. So it's clear here that this is just the braid over method.
So the second method involves splitting the cornrow section into two parts. And then braiding over while adding hair to the two outer sections with each braid. You'll see this more as the uh, cornrow progresses. <laughs> So like the first method, you add hair to the section in contact to the rest of the hair towards the back. Only now it's on both sides because our condo is split into two. So here's both of them finished. This first one is best for crochet braids because the corner is literally above the scalp. So it's easier to push the needle into it, I mean under it. And uh, it also provides a steady base for the knots. Then this second one is best for wearing under wigs because uh, the corner lays flat on your scalp. These are not the neatest cornrows I've ever done, but uh, it's not my fault. This hair gets all over the place. I wish they made these mannequin heads for mini kinkier textures because I'm so used to working with my kinky hair, so it's a lot easier for me to work with kinkier textures than this straight flimsy one. <laughs> So anyway, other than that, I hope this video was helpful. For those who don't know how to braid, I hope it helps. Um, quick tip, if you are really learning how to braid, I would suggest you watch this video a couple of times because that's how I got to learn how to braid myself. I just watched them doing, you know, the ladies who braid. I just watched them over and over again. And then somehow, along with practice, it's not that difficult to learn, really, to be honest. Yeah, <laughs> you just have to try and actually want to learn. Mm -hmm.